Welcome to this video on control theory. In this video, we will explore the fundamental concepts of control theory, its applications, and how it has revolutionized the field of engineering. Control theory is a branch of engineering and mathematics that deals with the analysis and design of systems that are capable of controlling other systems. It is used to regulate the behavior of systems and ensure that they perform optimally. At its core, control theory is concerned with the study of feedback systems. A feedback system is a system that uses the output of a process to control the input to that process. This feedback loop allows the system to adjust its behavior based on the output it produces. The origins of control theory can be traced back to the early 20th century when engineers were trying to develop systems that could automatically control the speed of machines. Today, control theory has become an essential tool in many fields, including aerospace, robotics, and industrial automation. One of the key benefits of control theory is that it allows engineers to design systems that are stable and robust. By analyzing the behavior of a system, engineers can identify potential problems and design solutions to prevent them from occurring. In the next segment, we will explore the key concepts of control theory, including feedback loops, stability, and performance criteria. In this segment, we will explore the key concepts of control theory, including feedback loops, stability, and performance criteria. Feedback loops are at the heart of control theory. A feedback loop is a system that takes the output of a process and uses it to control the input to that process. This feedback loop allows the system to adjust its behavior based on the output it produces. Stability is another critical concept in control theory. A system is said to be stable if it returns to its original state after a disturbance. In other words, a stable system will not continue to oscillate or diverge after a disturbance. Performance criteria are used to evaluate the performance of a control system. These criteria include measures such as settling time, rise time, and overshoot. Settling time is the time it takes for a system to reach a steady state after a disturbance. Rise time is the time it takes for a system to reach its final value from its initial value. Overshoot is the amount by which a system exceeds its final value before settling down. Control theory also involves the design of controllers, which are devices that are used to control a system. There are many types of controllers, including proportional controllers, integral controllers, and derivative controllers. These controllers are designed to adjust the input to a system based on the output it produces. In the next segment, we will explore the applications of control theory in various fields, including aerospace, robotics, and industrial automation. In this segment, we will explore the applications of control theory in various fields, including aerospace, robotics, and industrial automation. In aerospace, control theory is used to design flight control systems that ensure the stability and safety of aircraft. These systems use feedback loops to adjust the control surfaces of an aircraft, such as the rudder and elevator, to maintain stability and control. In robotics, control theory is used to design control systems that allow robots to perform complex tasks. These systems use feedback loops to adjust the position and velocity of a robot's joints, allowing it to move and manipulate objects with precision. Industrial automation, control theory is used to design control systems that regulate the behavior of machines and processes. These systems use feedback loops to adjust the input to a machine or process, ensuring that it operates within safe and efficient parameters. Control theory is also used in many other fields, including automotive engineering, power systems, and biomedical engineering. In automotive engineering, control theory is used to design control systems that regulate the behavior of engines and transmissions. In power systems, control theory is used to design control systems that regulate the behavior of generators and power grids. In biomedical engineering, control theory is used to design control systems that regulate the behavior of medical devices and prosthetics. In conclusion, control theory is a powerful tool that has revolutionized the field of engineering. Its applications are vast and varied, and it has enabled engineers to design systems that are stable, robust, and efficient.